Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is some um, quick announcements about what I'm going to be adding to the channel in 2018 for you guys starting tomorrow. But I also have all of my decks here and I'm gonna pull some cards from all of them and do another general reading because I know you guys have been loving these lately. So um, for those of you guys who wanted to know what card decks I'm working with, this is my Doreen Virtue Goddess Guidance deck. This is my Green Witch Tarot. This is my Wildwood Tarot and this is my personal deck. And so um, all of them together make for a really awesome reading and we're gonna try that today because I haven't read with all of them together for you guys in a while. But starting tomorrow on the channel for 2018, I'm going to be offering weekly free general readings. So what this is going to be is every Sunday I'm gonna post like a 20 minute video and it's gonna be general for all signs and for like everyone who watches the channel. I'm gonna be tapping into the collective and just freestyle reading like whatever's gonna go on in the energy that week, any messages you need to be aware of, anything that's gonna help inspire you and uplift you and encourage you. And we'll get some messages on like your family life and your home and your career and um, finances. And we'll also do like a little bit of a love reading too. So every week you guys can expect that. And um, I decided to take away my daily readings just because I haven't been able to keep up with them. I'll probably post a little video like this almost every day just because I like to start my day off like this before I get into my readings. But yes, this is the change. And um, I also have something you guys are going to absolutely love. I am also going to be offering every Sunday weekly love readings. Now, these readings are not free because it's going to be 45 minutes to an hour long and we're going to be doing twin flame and soulmate readings. So I'm going to be reading for the divine masculine, the divine feminine. We're going to be doing the whole shebang. Um, I'm going to be answering um, like general questions um, as far as like um, I'm going to be reading for people who are in a relationship. I'll be pulling cards for people who are in a um, like in its complicated relationship or like in the separation. Um, I'll pull cards for people who are in a committed serious relationship or twin flames or soulmates in union. So we're doing the whole thing and um, I'm going to be offering um, a free five minute preview. So every week you can just get the current energy, the energy that's leaving, the energy that's coming in and you can get a preview of the spread so you can decide if you want to buy it or not. And every week, all you do is you just email me and you say, I want the link and you pay 1111. So the, this reading, this love reading that I'm going to release every week on Sunday, I'll release the preview when it's done. And then if you want the full video, you just email me and simply tell me, I want the link and, um, you pay through PayPal and I send you the link to the video and you can watch the whole video. And, um, it's amazing. It's, um, this is actually something I've been paying for on one of my friend's channels. <laughs> and um, I pay for her love readings every so often. And it's like, it's a nice way to get like a more personalized reading if you don't want to like <clears throat> buy the whole shebang. Let's say that you just came to me and you got a love reading. And, um, and then like a couple days later, something shifts and you don't want to purchase another reading so soon, well, you can just wait a few days for my love reading to post and see if there's any messages that will come up in there. Basically, these love readings are for you guys, the people who are purchasing it. I pray and I tap into whoever is purchasing it and I ask that messages will come out for them. Like, so it's not just like random in general, it's more specific to the collective and like who's actually purchasing it. So, um, I'm excited to see how this is going to go. Um, I'm kind of loosely calling this my Rainbow Harmony Love Club, <laughs> but um, like it's not really a club yet because you can't really purchase like a package for the reading. I'm hoping that eventually those of you guys who want to purchase it every week can just purchase a subscription and save for like a year or for like a couple months at a time, but that won't be coming until I get my website up. So I hope that makes sense, but um, to, to kind of bullet point, I'm offering weekly free general readings and those will be posted on Sunday. And then I'm also offering weekly love soulmate and twin flame readings, but those you're going to have to purchase and they're 11, 11, although there will be a five minute preview posted every week that you can get a little bit out of if for some reason you just have a week where you just want to know the general energy and you don't want to purchase it. So um, I'm very excited for this, you guys. Um, I'm excited to share more 
and to be able to do all of this for you. So let's get started. Let's pull some cards for today or just like for right now. I'm just gonna open myself up. Any messages for any of you guys, like what you need to hear right now, what we need to hear right now. <laughs> Cause I'm in need of some word too. I'm about to start on your personal readings today. So your personal readings are coming. Your yearly reviews are coming. I'm working hard on them. I'm gonna pull this because it was on top of the deck. Okay. I'm just gonna pull one more card for you guys and then we'll get started. Oh. Oh gosh, wow. You know, I've been doing personal reads all week and um, I have to say that, that this card and this card, actually both of these cards, all three of these cards are really sticking out to me. They've been coming out so much. No doubt about it, as we head to the end of 2017, um, the old must be released so that the new can enter. There's this beautiful endings and beginnings card coming out. And it's telling us that 2017 was a hell of a year and we went through a lot and um, it was a lot in our head. It was a lot in our mind. It was a lot we had to process. And we're coming out on the other side. Out of the mud and out of the muck grows the beautiful lotus and that's us. We went through the trenches and we're ready now to come out. And what I see um, is that there's a lot of us who have been resisting this change. There's, there's change that's been wanting to come into our life for so long. And I find it funny, um, I'm about to move and I'm moving somewhere that I wanted to move since for like 10 years probably. And um, it's just funny to me. I know everything happens in divine right timing and in perfect timing and I'm thankful for my path and everything I've been through. But I'm just like, <laughs> I just find it funny that I'm finally doing this, I'm finally not resisting like this guidance that I know I've had for so long. And so maybe that's what you guys are doing. Maybe you've had some guidance that you're supposed to make some kind of move or some decision and you've been putting it off or stalling on it. And now it's time for you to like take that leap of faith and do it. And so it's ushering in this big ending because there's like all these things in your life that are having to fall away and that are having to change and fall apart before you can, um, like have this new beginning, but just know the new beginning is going to be absolutely beautiful. And something that I'm realizing is that all of life is simply just a transition between endings and beginnings. Let's say like at the top of the circle right here, this is like an ending and down here is a beginning. Well, in between these two points is a transition, a transition. So all of life is simply just a transition between endings and beginnings. You see that? So in order to master life, you master endings, you master beginnings, you master transitions. Endings and transitions can be very difficult. I have learned in endings to just surrender and to trust and like to not judge the situation until things kind of settle. Because as something ends, like the energy is like really shifting a lot and like it doesn't like it can seem really catastrophic, but like things usually tend to work out on the other side. And so, of course, beginnings are awesome. I don't know. I love beginnings. They can be scary for some people, but new beginnings, that's fun for me. Um, it's usually a time of blessing and like um, there's a lot of vitality and energy going into that. Um, so I don't usually worry about that too much, but. Transitions are hard too, you guys. The transitions between the endings and beginnings, sometimes you get lost. Sometimes you don't really know where you're at on the journey. Sometimes like you need encouragement and that's kind of where I come into play. Um, most of us are in a transition and so um, at mo most of the time. And so that encouragement is important, like to keep yourself motivated to like continue on the journey and like not to lose hope. So um, just some insight about endings and beginnings, but it's a very natural part of our life. Like we are very much in a cycle. And um, if you start learning how to master this, you start paying attention to the pattern, to the cycle in your life, because your life has like its own rhythm and its own flow. Um, it's gonna be easier for you to like go with the flow and be in alignment. So I'm seeing this 
insecurity card, but I'm seeing it reversed, which I'm so happy about. There's something about like us wanting to be free and us wanting to uh, really express ourselves and experience like the life we're meant to live. That's what the horse card's talking about. And oh my gosh, the horse is one of my favorite animals. I was obsessed with them when I was little. They're totally one of my spirit animals. And to me, they yeah, they represent freedom, unbridled freedom. <laughs> and I feel like that's what we've been craving. And um, what was blocking us was our insecurities. We were too insecure to carry on and to move forward. And um, now the insecurities are lessening and like we're starting to believe in our worthiness and our self-esteem is growing and um, we're starting to feel like it's more important, like these little choices that we're making every day and like maybe like your cause and your mission and your talents, you're starting to like really believe in your talents and gifts and like maybe it's not so random that you are the way that you are. And maybe there's like something you're supposed to be doing here to express yourself and to enjoy your life on a whole new level. So the universe is aiding us. The universe is aiding us with money, with cash, with finances. I feel like a lot of money is coming in in 2018. I feel like we need to be open to receive. Um, in 2018, the universe wants to bless us. We've been really patient. We've been really diligent. We've made good choices. And so it's time for us to like be pampered a little bit. It's time for us to open to receive the karmic stores of wealth that are coming our way. So this card is, is really beautiful. It's saying, let the tide wash in your belief in miracles and out your energy patterns of chaos, fear, and drama. Gift of financial reward. I made this card. Um, actually, my partner made this card. He drew this. <laughs> we... Um, we got in this horrible car accident in LA and it was so ca catastrophic and crazy, like uh, emotionally, physically, financially. And um, we decided to hop on, we couldn't drive. And so we decided to hop on the train and take it all the way to the beach in Santa Monica. And um, we went on a walk on the beach and like, um, I was crying because I was just like, this is so crazy that this happened. And um, everything worked out fine, but it was the first time something like this had ever happened to me. And like, we were in the middle of this big city and it was just really scary and we didn't have a lot of support. And so all we knew to do was just like to pray and like, cause we had been working with the cards and like really trusting in the divine energy and the, you know, felt the divine presence and wanted to just like, we were, we were effed. We were totally fucked. We were at that like surrender point. And so we were praying and we were like, please like send us a miracle, send us a sign. Like we just need to make it through this. Cause um, I had a lot of opportunities I really needed the car for and um, thank God for Uber, <laughs> but it was just frustrating. And um, <clears throat> all of a sudden the sand dollar just went whoosh and washed up onto my partner's foot. And he looked down and this beautiful, perfect sand dollar was right on his foot. We literally were praying out loud, out loud together. Please send us a sign. Like we surrender, like, you know, um, like we trust that there's something in this for us. And like, there's a reason that this happened. And like, we don't, you know, we want to trust in this ending and we know we're gonna grow through this to be the Lotus kind of thing. And bam, this, I'm gonna get it, hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, my camera's falling. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm getting up. One second. Hang on. The camera's gonna fall over. It's worth it. Okay, you guys. Check it out. <laughs> there's the sand dollar yeah so it was like a miracle it's just all of a sudden like you know like how rare it is to find like a perfect sand dollar at the beach they're usually chipped up or broken and um it was dead so don't worry we didn't like it wasn't alive we didn't kill it <laughs> i would never do that but i'm the kind of person that like if there's a bug in my house i'll like put it in a cup and take it outside but yes here's the sand dollar Another funny story, the next time I went, I went to the beach after this, it was for the same reason. Like something crazy happened and I was like in a screwed like surrender moment and I, I remembered last time I went to the beach and it helped me. So I went to the beach again and I was like praying and um, my husband was like, why don't you go down to the water and like just go pray and like just get it off your mind so we can enjoy this day at the beach. 
And so um, it was like a problem with my job I was having in this instance. And so I went down, prayed and whoosh, up onto my foot, <laughs> a sand dollar <laughs> at the exact, so the exact same time. So, you know, I get signs like this all the time. What are the chances that like we'd go to the beach and then pray and right then like this sand dollar would wash up on our foot? And then what are the chances that the next time I go to the beach, like the same thing happens? I, I ran up holding it and he was like, is that a sand dollar? And I was like, yes. He's like, oh my God, that's so crazy. And I told him, I was like, I was praying for a sign. I was praying. I was like trying to surrender and just let go and trust and the sand dollar came. So that's kind of what this card is talking about. It's a card talking about miracles. It's a card talking about like the universe has your back. And um, sometimes we create these problems like by worrying. And it's also like, I don't know. I feel like there's also a message here about like, you don't have to pretend like everything's perfect. I hope you guys aren't taking these messages the wrong way. Like you're supposed to just spiritually bypass everything away and just pretend like everything's fine. Like both of these times that I went like, that I had these endings and like this catastrophe in my life. Like I, I was crying. I was upset. Like it was, I couldn't deny in the moment how awful it was, like what I was going through, but both times it ended up working out for me really well. And, um, these sand dollars and this card reminds me, like, if you're going through something like this, if there's like an ending or a loss in your life, like deal with it, cry it out, like, but just try to center yourself too at the same time and know that there's like a bigger plan. And, um, there's miracles and blessings that can come out of situations even like this. And I ended up on both sides, both situations, very blessed. And um, yeah. So next we're moving on to the Koreatown card and another card, lots of telling you guys lots of stories about LA. <laughs> um, I lived in this neighborhood in LA, Koreatown, which I absolutely love. And, um, but at the same time, it was something really interesting that I learned about living there, which is, Heaven or hell is all a matter of perception. Are you creating hell or chaos unintentionally in your life? Some days I would wake up in this neighborhood and it would be like the best day ever. And I would walk out and there's all these people and all these smells and there's like, um, I don't know, it was, I would go on long walks and it was really central and I could get wherever I wanted to like in LA and like really close in like 10 or 15 minutes. And um, I liked it. I felt like it was like the real LA. It was like, very authentic and like it really gave me the taste of like that city life but um some days i would wake up and there would be trash everywhere and the streets would smell like pee and it was all loud and like um i'd have five parking tickets or something and like <laughs> and some days i would wake up there having a panic attack like i'd feel like the walls were closing in around me and like there was just so many people and so um what I realized is that like my personal energy and like the manifestations I was trying to manifest at the time were really affected by my energy on days where I was feeling really positive about like my surroundings. Like I get opportunities, I'd have cool emails coming through and I feel like whenever I was really down and like having a week or two where I was just like, this is awful. Like that would reflect in my life too. So your perception is like, is really like you, the vibration like you're putting out into the world and your vibration like attracts things back to you. And so it's saying, um, this card is saying that a gift of unexpected luxury and reward is coming towards us, but it's being slowed down by the heaven and by the miracles that we overlook in our life. So they're saying switch the dial from focusing on all of the drama to focusing on your passions. Check this out, you guys, you can't switch the dial from focusing on all the stuff that's going around you and all the stress and chaos and fear, you can't switch that dial all of a sudden from that to focusing on the positive. So for me, focusing on the positive doesn't really work. I focus on my passions because my passions help me feel positive. You can't go from being all worried and stressed out and negative and upset and fearful to just like focusing on the positive. So everyone who's just like, focus on the positive. I'm like, that's great, but like, it's, I can't. Like, it's too hard. Like. Going to do something that makes me feel positive is better, like taking action. So this is telling us like, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling out, try to direct your energy into your passions. You can write a poem about what you're going through. You can paint it, you can write it, you can do something productive and channel that into your artwork. So they're saying, 
to distract yourself with hobbies and your, your like a project and your self care and like focus on yourself. And this card also says you don't have to answer to anyone but yourself. Like whatever you're choosing to do with your time, whatever hustle you're in right now, it's your choice. And like, you don't have to do anything anyone else doesn't want you to do. Um, lots of messages coming through. <laughs> this is saying like that we're going to be feeling like thinking things over a lot in the next couple days. And um, we, this is what we want. I mean, look at this, look at this picture, you guys. This is totally my dream, by the way. I'm not, even, I'm not even lying. I want like a big old house in the country with like a bunch of sheep. Actually, I want a ton of goats. I love goats, even though they're smelly. And like every time I pet a goat, I have to wash my hand like a million times. <laughs> is there like a special goat wash soap that will wash the goat like grease off your hand? <laughs> Sound off below, you guys. There's this goat, okay, this is kind of random, but I go to this appointment, okay, I go to therapy every week because I recommend therapy. And um, right outside the office is like this um, field with a whole bunch of goats and I've made friends with them <laughs> and they all come to me and I pet them, but then my hand is like super smelly and like covered in, yeah, and then I try to wash it and my partner makes fun of me and he's like, stay away from me, you got a goat hand. <laughs> And like, I'll go to like the store after and like the people are like, can smell it on me and they're like, what's that smell? <laughs> Anyways, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but this is obviously my dream and I, I bet it's your dream too. Just like finances, like feeling confident, feeling comfortable. Um, maybe you're looking for a nice house or just like you want to feel like grounded and, and like provided for and they're trying to help you see that like you already have this. In a way, you do already have this. You got to get in touch with this especially if you want to manifest more of this into your life. That's what I'm realizing. I already have this. I just want more and there's nothing wrong with wanting more. Um, and, but like, you got to be content with where you're at right now. They're saying like the key to unlocking like your desires and the things you want is to be content with where, where you're at right now and to realize like the presence is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Right, you guys? <laughs> Let's pull a final message. Which deck should I do it from? I'm using my Wildwood Tarot. I try not to have a favorite deck, but this one might be it. Hmm. They're saying have endurance. Like right now, our energy is really being balanced and our destiny lies ahead. I hope that this message resonates with you, sending you so much love and light. Stay tuned for tomorrow on the channel, and I look forward to sharing my new readings with you. Peace out.